So the bioprocessing market in, in India is, a, is an exciting, it's an exciting space. Um, uh, I'm happy to have been involved um, uh, with uh, with Repugent in India uh, for the last uh, for the last ten years, and we've seen uh, we've seen this industry grow um, both in terms of size and also significance. You know, over the years, you know, today uh, the bioprocessing tool space in India is is, is around about a billion dollars. Um, of which you know, 10 to 20 percent of that would be available uh, to Replogen based on the types of products that, uh, that we have. You know, Replogen's goal in the bioprocessing space has been to uh, define and develop um, technologies that fit the needs of the modern day bioprocessing industry. So it's less about one stop shop uh, and more about what are the technologies that are required or, or the outcomes that are required by the industry. We talk about uh, process intensification, we talk about um, the, the, the maturation of single use technologies, uh, we talk about uh, novel uh, disruptive technologies. It's really um, all about what technologies can be provided that increases the, uh, the cost effectiveness in the economy of producing drugs today. Um, that may be through process intensification, um, it, it may be through process simplification, and in some cases through, uh, through novel technologies. But uh, you know, simply, you know, one of the goals is to produce you know, twice as much amount, amount of, uh, of material, twice the amount of drug product, uh, in, in, in half the amount of space and, and half the amount of time. And that's what uh, has a big impact on, uh, on businesses in, in India. So we see the move from um, you know, monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies and biosimilars uh, through you know, uh, the, the, the leaders in the world supply of the vaccine, where process intensification can save a significant amount of money in terms of the cost of uh, making and designing these, uh, these drugs. Uh, so that's what's going to you know, drive us towards a more you know, democratic access to, to healthcare for um, What happens next, I think, is, uh, is interesting. Uh, the new modalities, you know, mRNA, uh, gene therapy, cell therapy, uh, a lot of the same technologies that are used in the, the monoclonal antibody and vaccine worlds are used in the gene therapy worlds, um, but they're used a little differently. Um, product loss uh, in the processes can be significant, significant cost. So I can see Replogen uh, leveraging the same technologies working with scientists and industry to optimize and bringing single-use technologies which can uh, significantly reduce holdout volumes and product costs in some of these, uh, some of these uh, technologies. I guess the last thing I think that's important is over the last uh, 10 years, um, the relationship between um, the customer bench scientist and the production application scientist has been crucial. In order to make these changes in the industry, and to move away from the, well, this is the way I've always done it. Uh, the, the, the nice option now is that we can engage with, our, uh, with, with the scientists in our customers' company. We can identify key technologies, how to use them, and what the best outcomes are going to be. And that way, uh, the India biotech market wins, uh, revenue wins, but most of all, the, uh, the patients win.